Etchum, you mentioned how you grew up in an Urdu-speaking household and how you were, you know, you always had influences around you when it came to literature. Was the desire to write or to create something always inherent in you? You know, you said once that Homeboy was a, was a personal imperative. And um, I mean, that was of course much later. You were writing always, uh, you know, through your growing up years. So was it something that was always within you? Uh, this need to sort of put something down on paper and, and create. You know, bef I think before I learned to write, I would draw. Mm. Um, and so the imperative to sort of mm, process the world on paper mm. um, is innate. Uh, it's something that is genetic, perhaps. My father um, also writes. Um, he writes uh, sort of articles and he's also uh, dabbled in fiction. So it's a, uh, it's a activity that I found um, I have received from, uh, from, from him. Um, so yes, I, I think so, I, I suspect so. So when you decided to go and take up this, you know, financial services career in the, in the middle, firstly, what compelled you to, was it because it just seemed like the right thing to do? And uh, secondly, did you take away anything from that experience or were you just very happy to, <laughs> to let it go? I went to the States on scholarship uh, as an undergraduate uh, and double majored in economics and English literature. And after I graduated, I tried to write uh, short stories and dispatch them to literary magazines. And I figured uh, I'd get $150 or $200 for a story and I'd be able to subsist on it. Right. But uh, that, in retrospect, was misconceived because none of my stories were picked up. That was and discouraging? It was discouraging. Yeah. Um, but, and, and, and because I was discouraged, uh, I walked into the World Bank with my resume and uh, asked them for a job and they said, well, it doesn't work this way. I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm very intelligent I'm, um, and, 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 and I know economics and, uh, and I was persistent uh, because I was hungry I had, uh, because I yeah. couldn't afford to eat well. So I, f I fell into banking that way. Wow. And I was about, uh, I, I spent about 10 years in the industry and I think it made a, you know, it, it was good. I don't regret uh, having worked uh, in the financial services industry because it, you know, it, it makes a man out of you. You don't want to, uh, you, you get a sense of how the world works. Um, um, and and so you know, people ask me, well, you could have you could have written a novel earlier, but I don't think I was ready at 21 to write a novel. Right. Um, it, it, it's 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 a project that requires great stamina, and I didn't have that sort of stamina. I didn't have that sort of technical ability. It, it took time right. for me to arrive at the point where I was able to start Homeboy. What did your parents uh, say when you decided to quit? And, <laughs> and initially you were, you were just floating for a brief period. I floated for the duration of Homeboy which, um, and um, it wasn't a very popular decision. It was a very... To put it mildly. <laughs> it was... Uh, um, because, you know, um, one has to earn one's bread and butter. And uh, and so my parents were wary, understandably wary, um, and I don't hold it against them. Uh, I think uh, they want all parents want the best for their children, and uh, deciding to give up a, a, a 
a proper solid job for a whimsical aspiration is something perhaps I should have been discouraged and, if, and, and, and but I wanted it that much that much that um, that I persisted I wish we all had the guts to <laughs> guts to do that so the second book is about Karachi I mean it's based in Karachi um, you don't have to, I mean how much of it can you tell us <laughs> what it's about or a glimpse or something it's a fantastic book thank you <laughs> great to get that endorsement <laughs> um, it's it's uh, dramatically different from Homeboy in that uh, Homeboy is a coming fate story, a comedy set in New York. Um, this is a, 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 no, a novel that features uh, sort of um, middle-aged characters, um, a septuagenarian, an octogenarian, um, and it is uh, an attempt to contend with another city, uh, a very different city, um, and yet a city that has the same variety of energy that cities like Lagos or Bombay or Rio or even New York have. As an artist, how important is money? You know, I just need enough money to write my next book. And so, Homeboy has allowed me to write my next book. Uh, the advance from Homeboy and uh, has, has given me some space. But the way the publishing industry is configured, the way the distribution infrastructure is changing, I don't know uh, what the future holds for me or other novelists. And um, I fear that uh, one will not be able to subsist uh, subsist writing novels alone. And you want to write about four to five more novels? So. I like Hopefully. to. I like to think that. All right, let's take another very quick break here on the date. We've got more coming up uh, with HM Nakhvi. Do stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. I ask my vagrant heart, where is there to go now? No one belongs to anyone at this hour, forget it. No one will receive you at this hour, let it go. Where can you possibly go now?